Hello everybody. So today SMCI is down. It's actually only up 0.4% from its, let's call it, low of the past six months. And so it's it's been trading at this level before. Um, I don't know right now, maybe it's just 1% lower than the lowest previous point. The stock is down because of uh, reports. I mean, very, very simply reports uh, from the Wall Street Journal and it's a it's a report where you know there's allegedly I suppose a probe of some kind, and um, the most substantive information that I can find about it is that there's a prosecutor somewhere in San Francisco that has asked a former uh, employee about accounting violations. Like this is the information. The stock is down 16 percent. When I bought this stock, you know I knew full well that was was going on. The question is. It, is it is it is it a risk that one is willing to take? You see, you see this was a 0.5 percent, 0.5 percent position for me, uh, as I show in the title. Oh, 0.1 percent of my position is now gone um, because now it's a 0.4 position. So guess what? You know, despite the major drop, I still have 99.99 percent. Uh, 99.9, sorry, percent of a portfolio. This this doesn't phase me at all. You know, some some stocks, some stocks are gonna be losers. I I don't know what's going on with SMCI. Some people absolutely do not want to invest in companies that are targeted with accounting. You know rumors that are spread by people. They don't want to touch these stocks, and and I, and I suppose that's just the way it is. M me, I just look at it, the compensation. Like like like. Of course, I don't want any issues to happen to my stock. But how much am I compensated for that risk? In the case of SMCI, it's trading only at a third of the value it reached at its peak. The, the discount is there. Am I being compensated for that risk and the risk of those reports? Am I being compensated? And I think I am being compensated because when I look at um, the only information we heard from the CEO was that letter that they released in, in early September, and they said that the statements were false, inaccurate, and misleading. At least some of, some of the statement, or at least the report, contained statements that are false, inaccurate, or misleading. You know. Maybe there is something here. I, I don't know. Under conditions of uncertainty, it's about asking yourself what risk you want to take. That's why this is no financial advice. It's just entertainment. To me, this is a risk I'm willing to take because I see the major opportunity that Supermicro has ahead of it in computing. I want to be exposed to AI. I want to be exposed to AI. I'm out of NVIDIA. I want to be exposed to AI. And if that means taking on that sort of risk, well, I'm okay with it. That's a matter of you asking you yourself or your portfolio what you think. I had started buying SMCI a little bit uh, every day on some days more than others. My average cost to SMCI was $435 a share is my average cost. Keep in mind, there's people who have much higher average costs. Uh, after that drop today, it's only 0.4% of a portfolio. What protects me in this in these instances is that I take forever to build conviction and to build positions. I if this report had come out say three months from from now and, and think again, it's a it's a report on rumors. It's a report on rumors. I mean it's it's allegedly we don't really know. Nobody really knows what's going on. It's too early. This report uh, uh you know, if it had come out, what, three months from now? Well, maybe my position would have been a 1% a position or a 0.9 or a 0.8 because I take my sweet time to get to know the stocks and to build the positions. I take a long time. This has saved me countless times. And so I'm taking this opportunity to average down. There is risk. There is uncertainty. That's the point of buying stocks, right? And then if you don't want to buy stocks, again, no financial advice, entertainment, lonely, but one who doesn't want to buy stocks has to ask themselves, are bonds really risk-free, right? Is hold holding cash really risk-free when you're getting diluted by the monetary printing that is happening? That is the point of beating the denominator, right? You stay in cash, well, guess what? You get, you get major dilution from new dollars being printed. So, of course, it's a longer-term dilution, but, but, but the, the concepts of risk, to me, 
it's always going to be there. The question is, are you getting compensated for that risk? I look at a, I look at a company that is leading in liquid cooling. I look at a company that has a leading marketplace that is actively chosen by Elon Musk for XAI along with Dell. And I look at a company whose growth prospects, you know, are pretty darn high compared to the valuation, as, I, as I've shown repeatedly before in my spreadsheets. I didn't include it in this video. I should have. Um, it's, it's, it's getting cheaper on my spreadsheet. So, of course, there's risk. Of course, there's uncertainty. I added a tiny amount again after it dropped today. Got a little more shares for that tiny amount, right? Uh, and, 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 you know, I, I won't be speeding up or slowing down my buys because there is risk. This is a risky stock, but I think I'm being compensated for the risk. This is what I want to say. If SMCI did something wrong, if, emphasis on if, there will be an investigation. And then if there's an investigation, after some while, some, some, some time, there may be a fine. That can take multiple years. There's an appeal process, right? This is a story that's going to unfold across many, many, many months, perhaps years. For every revolution, on the other hand, is happening right now. This stock has doubled its revenue this past year. They are, in my view, on track to doing that again. They are leading in their space. I don't have any other position in AI, aside from software, right, like Palantir and stuff, but in, in hardware AI, this is my play. This is the one where I see the, 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 the value to risk ratio. I see it very good. You know, keep in mind, and, and this is my main reason for buying this, is that Blackwell is coming, right? NVIDIA's Blackwell, the new chip, it needs to be liquid cooled. And for that chip and the future IT, by the way, is, uh, the future of IT, by the way, is likely liquid cooled. And who's the leader in liquid cooling? Well, according to SMCI, they are the leader in liquid cooling. This is from the CEO's letter that they released after a short report. 75% they believe is their market share. They believe they have 75% of the market share of a liquid cooled AI server market. In my view, they're going to sell a lot of those liquid cooling systems. I want to focus on the opportunity that the business has. Yes, the business has risks. Yes, the business could go to zero. Guess what, right? There's so many positions that have well over doubled. I have some positions that are well over 10x in my portfolio. That's the part of the risk that you take. That is the risk that you take, in my view. What they did, you know, for Elon Musk, you know, look, look at the many YouTube videos about them. Look at the keynotes. Look at their website, look at the products, you know, and look at the valuation and then make a decision for yourself. In my view, I added a little bit to it today. And if it drops more, I'll be adding more. And um, I'm, I'm sticking with this company. I knew the risks going in. I still know the risks. And, and that's just the way it is. So this was just a quick update, right? No investment advice, no financial advice, just entertainment. Please like, please subscribe. I had a, a separate post on this on my Patreon. So thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.